All right, let's give this a shot. And you're on. Thank you for the calling, Windows Support. This is Alex Brown. I'm help you. Hi, Alex. How you doing? Go fuck yourself, asshole. What? What's what? What did I do? Well, that was interesting. I'm just gonna call back. Do you want to suck my dick? I I'm confused, Alex. Is this Alex? I'm confused. Did I do say? Do you want to suck? Do did you, I say? No, no, you are you are confused. But do you want to do you want to suck my dick or not? Is this Windows? I I don't understand what. I must have dialed the wrong number because I don't think this is. I got a call saying that my license expired, but I don't think this is Windows. Hang up, hang up, hang up the call. Don't call this number again, okay? Okay. How do I get my license key renewed? Go and fuck yourself. Obviously, these people have been hit hard. Thank you for calling in Windows. My name is Rick Miller. How can I help you? Um, Rick, I would like to speak with one of your supervisors, please. Hello? Hello? I, I need to speak to a supervisor. Are you there? I just called this number and a gentleman swore at me. And, and I don't understand why. I got a phone call saying I should call this number and I call up and he just starts swearing at me. So, are you Microsoft or not? I know you haven't hung up. I can hear you. I don't understand what is wrong with you people. You leave a message to call you and then you behave this way. So you're not a real business. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go report your number. Thank you for the calling, Windows Support. This is Alex Brown. Uh, Alex, can I speak to your supervisor? Well, that's interesting. This one didn't work because they had obviously already been hammered by someone that sounds similar to me, to the voice I'm using. Do you want, motherfucker? You know what? I don't have time for this nonsense. I don't understand. I'm a bitch. I'm a busy don't, man, and you I called don't have me. The time either. You called me and told me something about Microsoft. I wonder who it is that called him. It sounds like me. Thank you for calling in Windows. This is George. How may I help you? Um, George, I would like to speak with a supervisor. Do you know her? Uh... No, I, I've been on the phone twice with two of your texts. I got a phone call saying that my Windows license key has expired. I called this number. I had a late night. I don't have time for nonsense. I called this number, and one of your texts just started swearing at me right away. And so I called back and asked for a supervisor, and then another tech just went quiet. I could hear him on the other end of the phone, but he didn't say anything. This is this is unacceptable. I mean, are you guys Microsoft tech support or not? Yes, sir. Then I don't understand why I'm being treated this way. You called me and left a message saying that my license key had expired. I'm calling back and I get sw mm -hmm. sworn at. Sir, your Microsoft Windows license key is expired, so you need to renew the license key of your operating system. Right. Well, I, I don't understand why am I being treated this way. I mean, maybe I don't want to renew my license with Microsoft if this is how you're going to treat me. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay. Is, so that's all you have to say? I can't speak to a supervisor? I'm the supervisor here. Sir. You're you're the supervisor, and you don't care how your tech s spoke to people on the phone. I told you, sir, already. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Do you you you're not even going to ask me their name or any details? 
now I know what I'm doing today. Hey, son of a bitch. Okay, obvious, obviously you are not Microsoft. You harass people with leaving phone numbers. Are you fool or stupid or idiot? I am confused is what I am. But you know what? I said I didn't have, I didn't have time for this nonsense, but I changed my mind. I do have time for this. You want to play games with people and leave messages and then swear at them when they call back? I can play too, okay? I'm going to make your life hell the rest of the day. Because I decided I have time. You are obviously not Microsoft. You're obviously not Microsoft. You must be trying to steal money or something. I don't understand your, your motives. But if you want to play around, I'll play around. I got nothing to do. I'm just going to go ahead and play this like I'm... Like I was a real caller and now they've pissed me off. Are you a fool or idiot? No, I'm not a fool or idiot. You must be a fool or idiot. I'm not under I don't understand what you're trying to do, but if you're trying to make money one way or another, you're kind of stupid. You leave a message and I call you back and you and this is how you treat me. You don't even let me you you know I don't understand. Are you just some kid that harasses people? I mean, is that what this is? You're pranking people? Is that what it is? You are a piece of shit. Is that what it is? You are a piece of shit. I, I, okay. So you're a bunch of, you're a bunch of teenagers or something that think this is funny? Is that what it is? He, I heard him reading my phone number. He thinks he's going to get me. This is actually a lot easier than what I had planned. I'm going to try and make these idiots think that they've actually screwed up on a real person. Thank you for calling in Windows. This is George. How may I help you? Oh, hi, George. Is this Windows or is this you and your teenage friends sitting around in your bedroom pranking people? Huh? You think it's funny to prank people? I can prank people too. Yeah, go ahead. Don't answer. I have two phones, and I have a lot of friends that have phones. I wonder when they're going to start thinking that I'm actually a real customer, and they screwed up. Thank you for the calling, Windows support. This is Alex Brown. I'm help you. Oh, sure, Alex. Is this you and your 14-year-old friends sitting in your bedroom pranking still? Yes. You still want to claim that you're Microsoft? You know what? I have the day off today. I can do this as long as you can. I know you kids think this is funny, but I can harass you as much as anybody else. <laughs> uh, this is fun. I'm going to keep using Missouri phone numbers so that they think they're actual real phones coming from Missouri. That's funny. I wonder if it's about this time they're thinking, uh-oh. Because they had no problem answering me knowing that it was me calling and swearing at me. Now all of a sudden they don't want to answer. They're probably looking at the area code because I'm using the same area code just to be convincing. That really did blow me away when the guy just started swearing at me right from the start. Apparently another scam baiter out there must have been using a voice similar to mine. I was going to get these people on my computer and everything. Hello? Uh, yeah, I was just calling to see if the foul mouthed... We hung right up right when he heard my voice. Can I help you, dear? Uh, yeah, I have two phones myself and several, quite a few friends that have phones, and I can keep calling you even if you stop answering one of those phones. So maybe you should go take a nap, because apparently you are cranky. You going to keep playing games with people? Oh, that's what you have is a beep beep? Go and is your yourself. is your mother at work today? Is that why you're pranking people on the phone? 
You got a pretty foul mouth for a teenager. <laughs> they must not be able to block calls. I don't know if this is going to be funny to anybody but me. I guess I'll see when I finally edit it. Oh, my cat. Oh, answer and hang up. Hello? Is Potty Mouth there? Thank you for calling in Windows. This is George. How may I help you? Hi, George. You're lucky I don't use the language you guys use, because I can be pretty abusive. Is it nap time for you guys yet? You children playing around? Are you a fool, motherfucker? I have a lot of friends who are going to let me use their phones, and I can just keep calling you. You want to play with people? But I think I, I, I think I think you can play. You can't play, motherfucker. We you can play. We, you know what? You want to leave messages on people's phones and play games? We can play games too. You, you can't play. You're obviously, you you're die. obviously children that have nothing better to do than sit around and call people and prank people. Mm -hmm. Is that what? Is that how you have fun? You, you don't have something you can do. Aren't you supposed to be in school? It's Friday. Go and fuck yourself. Yeah, you got a pretty foul mouth there, little man. I can I can swear too, but I'm I'm mature and I don't use that language. I often use that language actually. Too much. But this guy doesn't need to know that. I wonder if they are just too stupid to figure out that they could have pissed off a, a valid customer. And go back to a phone number I've already used and see if they recognize it. I, of course, can use any number, but I want to keep going with this, convincing them that I'm not a prankster and that I'm using real phones. Thank you for the calling, Windows support. This is Alex Brown from Alpine. Hi, Alex. Do you have any more foul language? Hey, son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, there you Shut go. Your mouth. There you go. Is that what you kids and you thought you'd do today? He actually answered it. At this point, I don't even know what I am. A man or a woman. I don't know if they have an opinion. I'm meant to be a man. I hope this phone number doesn't belong to your parents because they're going to be angry when they get home from work and I'm calling over and over. Because you are being where, so sick. Where is your mother anyway? Shouldn't she be home watching you? They actually answered. Thank you for the calling Windows support. This is Alex Brown. I'm going to help you. Alex, are you getting tired of it yet? It's pretty annoying, isn't it? I have a lot of friends who will really? let me... Let me conference through through their phones, and I can keep calling you. Okay, and then suck my cock, okay? Okay, yeah, that's really funny. Where are you? I thought you were in your bedroom. Yeah. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I thought you guys were in your bedroom. Are you in a bus station or something? Why is there so much noise? Or are you in school right now? Is that why? Are you in school right now making these calls? No? Now you don't want to talk? <laughs> Seems as Alex is not as froggy as he was when I first called him. He was all over telling me where I could go and who I could do things to. Now all of a sudden, not so much. Can I help you? I don't know, can you? You left a phone, you no. left a message on my phone acting like you were Microsoft, so I don't know if you can help me. Are you kids done playing your games yet? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<sighs> I wonder if they're going to designate Alex as the answerer for Missouri area codes. And a hang up. This is a new number too, so still Missouri, different area code. I think I hear the lunch lady in the background. Is this Alex? Yeah, this is Alex. Or at least that's what you say your name is. And he hung up. Hello? Alex? Yeah. Yes? Help, help me out, Alex. I don't pretend to understand kids these days, but I don't understand this prank. I mean, when I was a kid, we used to make prank calls too, but we'd say things like, you know, Prince Albert in a can and stuff. We weren't, we weren't ever dumb enough to leave a callback number. I don't understand your prank. What, do you want to understand that? Yeah, what, what do you get out of this? I'm not sure I get the prank. So you want to understand it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to keep going <laughs> as long as I can. Come back to one of my other original numbers. Try and keep up the illusion here that these are actually real phones. Eventually, I'm going to run out of numbers. I think Alex might be getting the idea that. I was a real person and not a prankster. Thank you for the calling, Windows support. This is Alex Brown. I'm help you. Hi, Alex. I found another friend who'd let me use their phone. You still playing your pranking games? <laughs> I want him to not hang up and like start swearing at me because I want to talk to him more. But I don't want to ask him not to hang up. Alex, Can I, help you? I bet you thought you yeah. and your you and your friends thought this was funny, but it's not going to be funny when I'm calling you in the middle of the night, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. No problem. You can. Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex. Are you there? Nope. Look, I don't mean any offense by this, but it sounds like you have an accent. Are you originally from another country? I went there because I was going to ask him if this is like something they do in another country. Because I don't understand this type of prank. That'd be hilarious if this guy's boss chewed him out after hearing these recordings because he thought I was a real person. He gets yelled at for doing that to someone who was actually willing to give him money. Thank you for calling in Windows. My name is Rick Miller. How can I help you? Rick Miller? Or is this Alex? Yes, sir. Is your real name Alex? Rick Miller hung up. Probably an actual different person just got scared off because I was talking about his real name. Is this you, Alex? Trying to use the name Rick Miller? I still don't understand your prank. I don't know why you'd want people to call you back and harass you. Back in my day, we used to just call people's phone numbers and ask if they had Prince Albert in a can and tell them they needed to let him out. Which is true, by the way. I'm that old. Back when we used to dial up somebody on the phone, let it sit for a minute, make it seem like I actually had to do some work to get another area, get another phone to call from. All right, got another number. Found another friend to let me use their phone. Thank you for calling in Windows. This is George. How may I help you? Alex, if you're in school right now, isn't your lunch period almost over? Yes. So shouldn't you be going back to class? No. Are your teachers going to be angry with your cell phone ringing? Because I'm going to keep calling. 
Okay. Okay. Why don't you just admit? Why don't you just admit? <laughs> I don't know if he called me a bitch or a son of a bitch. <sighs> Hi, Alex. It's me. Why don't you just admit you're a prankster? That your phone call was a prank and you're just having fun. And maybe I'll stop calling. Hang up. Because some, somebody's going to... Oh, there you go with the potty mouth again. You too, poopy pants. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Where did you learn that language, Alex? You think that's an appropriate way to talk? Your mother has your mother has taught me. Oh, okay. When I was fucking your mom. Oh, when that's, I was fucking your mom. That's really nice. Did your parents teach you to talk that way? When I was fucking your mom. Okay. She has told me. Okay. Yeah. Did your parents teach you to talk Fuck that you. way? <laughs> He's not going to break me. Fuck you. You know, if you were my son and I found out you were making prank phone calls to people... He hung up again. Obviously, I'm getting to him and they're starting to swear again. I don't think they're going to scam anyone from Missouri. For a little while now. <laughs> They're not going to answer the phone. They probably don't even know this is all Missouri. I mean, I'm probably wasting my time with sticking with Missouri. They, they probably, they're probably not buying it, but I've got a theme going here. Friend, quote unquote, that'll let me use their phone, which I was going to let them get on to, but this went a different direction. All right, I've got a new phone. Ooh, it's a hang-up. Maybe they do recognize these Missouri uh, area codes. <laughs> They're hanging up. I think they recognize Missouri area code. Maybe I've saved the people of Missouri today from being scammed. No one calling from Missouri is going to be able to, to get them on the phone. That'd be a sweet concept. Alex? I have the day off today, Alex, and the next two days. Maybe I'll just track down this phone number of yours and see if I can find your parents' numbers and let them know what you've been up to. Mm -hmm. How would you like so what that? Do you want exactly? How would you like that? I don't understand. Nothing, motherfucker. But uh, okay. Piece of shit. You There's your motherfucker. I, I have fucked the people. I have fucked thousand people like you. There a thousand people like me that you prank. You called and left a yeah. message on Did my. You, have, you left a message on my voicemail. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, I'll listen, listen to, to you. Okay. You want to explain yourself? Listen to me, motherfucker. No, I'm not going to listen to you if you're going to use profanity. I don't have to sit here and take that. Go and fuck yourself. Okay. I don't care well, who you are. You know what? You left a message on my voicemail and obviously yeah. you're pranking me and I don't know if this is you and your friends having some fun. I don't know what it is, but you know what? I can do it too. You want to make phone calls? I can make phone calls. And I have, a, I have a lot of friends that will let me use their phones, so you just keep trying. I don't understand yeah. why you're swearing at me. You, you left a phone number, you wanted me to call you back, and I called you back, and, and then you abused me. I don't know why kids think this is funny Absolutely. these days. Absolutely, I abuse. Absolutely, I abuse. But why, but why do kids do this these days? I don't understand. Is this, you think this is funny? You leave a phone number and when someone calls you, you just start swearing at them? I mean, is that passed for funny these days with kids? What's the phone number? What was the phone number? Let me check. Okay? What was the phone number? What was what phone number? 
The phone number. What that, about the phone number? Yeah. The the on the message that you left. Yeah. It was the the number you just answered eight four four two two eight zero one nine two. No 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 no. Your your phone number. Your phone number in which the voice message was left. Well, you're the one that called it. You what know. What was your phone number? You're the one that. I'm not telling you my phone number again. You called it and left a message. And I thought it was a serious message, ahead, but obviously you and your friends are playing pranks, and I don't understand it. I don't understand kids these days. Obviously, this is not this is not funny to me. I mean, when I was a kid, <laughs> he hung up. They might actually be too stupid to figure out this angle. I, I might be wasting my time. They might just be too stupid to to like realize that maybe I was a real person calling because I've played it straight from the start I've never let on that I know they're a scam hello Alex I know you're there Alex that's okay you want to pretend you're not there, then that's fine. I'll just find another phone that I can call from. I have a lot of friends. Okay, I'll find another phone I can call from. Hung up on him. Let's find another phone I can call from. How about Stone County? Location, Galena, Missouri. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you help me? No, I cannot. I found it. I found another phone, Alex. I don't. Good. under I don't understand. I'm waiting for you to explain yourself, and and why you prank people and leave your number and then swear at them. I don't understand that prank. <clears throat> because you are my piece of shit. Okay, that's still not funny. I don't understand what why you think this is. I mean, is that what? It, kids have been reduced to these days is just swearing at people and that's that passes for funny you're not funny you no are I'm not it. no you know what I'm not trying to be funny I'm asking you Alex is that what you think is funny just swearing at people is that no is that your is that what kids do now I'll come to your house I'll fuck your mom in front of you okay so that's funny too you think that's funny Yes. Because I really think you need to work harder. I do think they're too stupid to get it now that it, now that it, they're they're just not. There's no breakdown. I'm not striking brain. No matter how straight I play this. You're still alive, motherfucker. Well, in, until you explain your prank to me, I'm I'm going to keep calling. I don't think I'm going to get them to. I thought I could reach a point where they, like, try and admit they were just kids pranking and apologize. He's upset. It's still not funny, Alex. Hang up, motherfucker. I don't understand what our... Oh, Alex? Hang up, motherfucker. I need to go do some grown-up stuff for a while, but you're not going to think this is very funny tonight when you're trying to sleep and I'm calling you over and over and over. All right. Okay, I'll talk to you later.